2019 has been a big year of change and adventure. The year started off in the absolute best way possible with Nick and I getting married in front of all of our friends and family. Spending a few weeks with my favourite people from all over the world was honestly such a treasure and I am so grateful that I had that time with them. A couple months later Nick and I headed off on a pretty epic three week long honeymoon and travelled to Los Angeles, Vancouver, Banff which has very quickly become one of my all time favourite places in the world, New York, Iceland, back to London with day trips to Brighton and Oxford and Singapore. I've done a whole vlog series on our honeymoon trip if you want to watch them and see stuff in a little bit more detail but one of the things that happened while we we're in London was that I went to go and see my beloved Hamilton musical with my sister Charlie. After having the Hamilton soundtrack on repeat for literally years now being able to go and see the musical in real life was literally a dream come true and I feel like I basically cried the whole way through because I was just so happy and so in awe that I was like seeing it in person. Back in Wellington our house also went through a few cosmetic changes this year. We renovated the laundry and our kitchen and are currently renovating the entranceway and our lounge. Workwise, my employer also moved offices this year and went through a bunch of changes but my workmates and I have come through even stronger and I'm still really glad that I work with such a lovely bunch of people. I also went through a few personal changes changes this year. I gave myself a few albeit pretty wonky haircuts and I also got my first tattoo which is this little paper aeroplane right here. In terms of guilty pleasures the birthday cake flavoured ice cream from Wooden Spoon Freezery has definitely been a guilty pleasure of mine this year and still is um, but now that the weather has started to get warmer watermelon has definitely become my healthier obsession. I'm literally eating watermelon as I film this video as well. My favourite book this year was a bit of an underdog at first it took me a little bit to get into and I didn't really know how I was going to feel about it but the book is called Boy Swallows Universe by Trent Dalton. I think it's a debut novel out this year as well and as soon as I got into it I just could not put it down I couldn't stop thinking about the book and without giving away any spoilers I really like books that leave a few loose ends untied and you don't really know what happens it's up to the reader's interpretation and this book was definitely one of those. I feel like 2019 has also been a bit of a nostalgia year in terms of movies I think I've seen like a lot of movies that came out previously or that I've seen before movies that I really love but in terms of new movies that have come out this year I think my favourite is probably Jojo Rabbit close followed by us because that was one of those movies that messes with your mind a little bit. My favourite TV show this year was a very harrowing Netflix series called When They See Us. Uh, it is an incredibly told story of the exonerated five. On a little bit of a lighter note an unexpected favourite series for me this year is actually a German Netflix series which has like English dubbing over it uh, and it's called How to Sell Drugs Online Fast. Don't let the name fool you, it's actually a really hilarious comedy show. My top played artist this year, if we're excluding the fact that of course it's Hamilton, it is always going to be Hamilton and Hamilton was even like my album of the decade. But if we're excluding them, uh, my top artists this year were Ariana Grande and Lizzo, so there was definitely a little bit of like girl power going on. But I also feel like this year I discovered Loic Notet, is I think how you say his name, and he just has an incredible voice and he has lots of really cool songs. So I've definitely been thrashing his songs a little bit as well. Obviously what you've just heard is kind of like a highlights reel of how my 2019 went. Um, there have definitely been some really sad times, some really hard times as well, not just for me personally but in New Zealand and the world. Um, but yeah I thought for this video I would focus on the positive. So yeah that is my 2019. It's not only the end of another insane year but also the end of a decade that's been filled with a lot of my formative years so there's been a lot going on in this last decade and I have a lot of good memories from it. It's definitely been a year of change and I have a feeling that 2020 isn't going to be any different. I hope you the person watching this video have had a really good year as well. I wish you a very happy new year and yeah I'll see you all next decade.